honestly it's sad because nothing good has ever come from not trusting my intuition i was reflecting on this topic and yeah no i could have avoided so many things had i just trusted myself i feel like this year i kind of just put off of decisions that really needed to be made but nonetheless i made them and i learned to start trusting myself more so i'm going to share that with you but i know what it's like to be questioning yourself so much because of the limits that other people decided for you for whatever reason or other people just giving you unsolicited advice or advice that doesn't necessarily benefit you in any way and i just want to give you some tips about trusting yourself because like i said your intuition you know it's like it's a different kind of inner knowing and it's really never wrong you know what it is it gives you it gives you self-assurance. You don't need confidence to trust yourself. In fact, the confidence comes the more that you make decisions in your favor for yourself, for your best interests, and especially when they work out. I feel like in general, especially with the internet, there's so many ways that society can influence people now to doubt themselves or to compartmentalize themselves into a category and i really don't like it aside from that it's like you know again people in our lives that really can't fully relate to us to begin with try to steer us in directions that aren't beneficial to us and it's like you listen to them long enough and it's not in your favor because you didn't decide it i'm gonna say is trust your intuition your intuition you can't even lie it comes with discretion Stop letting people tell you that you're crazy. Stop letting people tell you that you're imagining things. Stop letting people tell you to stop overreacting. Stop telling people that tell you who to like. Stop letting people tell you where to go. Stop letting people tell you what to believe. When you have intuition about something that is not in your best interest, trust that. Whether it is about a person, even if it's about a job. Like, I'm not saying go and quit your job. I'm saying like, don't stay there because people are telling you to stay there like start planning for the future in whatever way you can whatever your situation is people can be talking to you and telling you whatever in your ear go about making plans for your future don't make your future in terms of other people and that brings me to the next thing stop letting people who have not walked a day in your shoes tell you what to do their preferences their perception of the world is so different from yours it's like you can't take advice from people who have not only different background than you, but different values. When shallow people are giving you shallow advice, don't take their advice. A lot of the time, people who can't relate to us, they can't relate to us. So they really can't even listen and understand fully what we are telling them. Don't let people like that tell you what to do. I'm telling you right now, like, talk to a therapist that's another thing get a therapist you like and trust that too like if you don't like your therapist keep trying to find another one but you know when people around you no matter how close you are with them if they seem like they're not keeping it real with you when they're telling you what to do trust that because half the time they're not they don't really perceive our circumstances as serious as they are because like i said shallow people their perception can only go as as deep as they will go aside from going to people who you feel like can't relate to you for advice avoid even seeking them for a listening ear if it's affecting your mental health if you feel like you're getting more irritated when you get off the phone with them just avoid it because again it makes you feel like no one's listening to you and it makes you feel worse almost because you're sitting here telling them something so serious and they're just like oh it's okay it's okay and they're acting like it's no big deal but like it is like those are the same people that will be telling you to oh just let it go let it go about everything and then before you know it you're in a million situations you didn't want to be in and when you start trusting your intuition listen a lot of the hardest decisions that i've had to make in life really did only bring me to better outcomes sometimes you have to really prioritize your long-term well-being first and understand that short-term emotions may not be easy to deal with the fear the sadness 
the anger, whatever, but it's like a snowball effect. If you can look back on your past and look at situations that you stayed in for too long, you see how much time elapsed. Now, if you think into the future, when you stay in situations that you don't want to be in in the future, think about how much more time can elapse and how many more events can happen, like a snowball. It's just gonna accumulate and accumulate and accumulate and you know that. Don't set yourself up for that because more often than not, when you wait and you put it off and time passes and more things happen and you get more hurt or you get more sucked into relationships, friendships that are not in your best interest, it's like it does more harm than was needed. And half the time, it's like you look back and you're like, why didn't I leave sooner? Why didn't I take action sooner? You have to stay decisive. And in order to get you to a place of being decisive, set clear intentions and be really strict about them. And I'm not talking about these intentions like little affirmations. I'm talking about intentions for your life. When you're thinking about the life you want to develop for yourself, listen, I'm not going to use the word happiness. I'm going to tell you to seek fulfillment out of life. Go after the things that you truly value. Look at yourself. Look at things that you have achieved in life. Look at the person that it really took for you to get there and to achieve those things and really prioritize those values because when you do that, you're going to align with things that are meant for you. You're going to align with people that are meant for you. When things don't align with your values, trust that. When you set intentions based around those values and people try to guilt trip you or people try to gaslight you or people try to lie to you, refer back to your intentions. Don't be afraid to do what other people don't approve of because half the time people really don't work in your favor anyway when it comes to them they'll be totally selfish and they won't think twice about it when you set these intentions and you're really unapologetic about the way that you abide by them don't let anybody try to make you feel bad about that especially when it's not affecting them in any negative way like these are things you have to ask yourself when people want to comment on things you have to ask yourself how is it affecting them when you follow your intentions and your intentions are based on the meaningful life that you want to create for yourself and people try to talk about that and people try to talk you down and people try to doubt you, you have to understand that people who lack a backbone and who lack their own inner authority, I don't know if you're triggering them, I don't know if they just want to stay comfortable with the version of you that did not do that. Either way, people like that won't understand what you're doing and a lot of the time, People want to keep us at their level because us moving beyond them would be a nightmare for whatever reason or it would hurt their ego. I don't know. You know, like I said, I, I don't know. I'm not in their head. But either way, they don't have your best interest at heart. They're not really taking you and your well-being as a priority. So by no means take them and their irrelevant input as a priority. Another thing is stop letting people tell you to let it go and stop listening to them because you know what it's all fun and games until things get really serious and you have no choice but to react appropriately and by that i mean you know what i had people spreading rumors about me for so long and for so long i let people tell me to just oh let it go let it go don't say anything you don't want to deal with the drama and it continued and continued for a really long time until I finally called attention to the type of people that they were behind closed doors. Bad people aren't only bad to you. Believe me, they're bad to a lot of the people in their life, so don't be afraid to call attention to that. You can't really let people just talk about you and do whatever, like we're adults now, and they think that they can get away with it the more that you let them get away with it, and you have to react in a way that is going to, again, savor you the most time and energy but is also going to put them in their place. You know what? It's like, if you're the only one going through it, then don't let people who aren't going through it tell you what to do. You never want to get yourself into trouble. You don't have to do all that. But again, like I said, people like that tend to have a lot of skeletons in the closet. And you know what? Sometimes you're doing the right thing by letting people know what they do to them behind closed doors and what they say about them behind closed doors. Don't be afraid to leave situations because you're scared that you won't find better. Anything is better than a situation that isn't making you happy. Anything is better than a person that isn't respecting you. Anything is better than a situation that is compromising your heart and your brain and your mind. 
I'm telling you right now, the longer you let it go on, the longer it reinforces things that you really didn't even re reinforce for yourself. And a lot of the time, people are just sucking on your energy because they have nothing better to do and because they need your validation. So, you know, they try to put you down in any way that they can because of their own insecurities and they make you think that everything is your fault, but like it's not. You just have to like walk away from them. Once you take your energy away from people like that, they have nothing. Also, think about your past and do some reflection. And when I say this, I mean like, if someone ever steered you the wrong way, whether or not they're in your life anymore, look at the type of person that that person was and you'll know who to really not take advice from in the future. And you know, there's a difference between being arrogant and understanding that people either don't understand you, can't relate to you, or again, are trying to mislead you for whatever reason. There's a difference. Pick and choose who you're going to take advice from by reflecting on your past and by, again, looking at the type of people that tried to do wrong by you by giving you advice that really was not helpful at all. At the end of the day, the best thing that you can do is really get clear on the type of life that you want to live and the type of person that you want to be. And listen, it really doesn't take that long. Put the pen to paper and you'll see it all come out and, you know, that's your soul talking. When you come to terms with that, terms with the things that you value, I'm not talking about these materialistic things. I'm talking about fulfillment. Really, in your life, what are the everyday qualities that you want to see in the environment and the people around you that are going to give you fulfillment, that are going to give you peace of mind and joy, pure joy. Don't be afraid to edit as appropriate. Adjust it so that you make more room to allow what is actually going to satisfy that into your life because when you don't do that you block yourself because when you are constantly around things giving you negative feedback that's all you're going to believe listen your mind is powerful sometimes we cannot control the things that our mind is picking up from the environment around us so don't feel guilty for doing what is best for you and what is going to make you really happy at the end of the day that is really the most important thing and again some of my biggest mistakes have come from delaying that and have come from accepting things that I knew I didn't want to be accepting. This is why I'm saying your intuition is never wrong. Don't let people try to impose this obligation upon you when they're really not even held to any obligations from you. Don't ever allow that. Again, those are the type of people that once you stop giving your time and energy to them, it's like over for them. Trust yourself also by saying what you're going to do once and doing it. And if you're not sure that you're going to do it, then don't say it. When you do what you say you're going to do, you set yourself up for yourself to take yourself seriously and also for people around you to take you seriously. When you do this from the beginning, it kind of gives people the message that you mean business and that you're not going to let them cross you or cross your boundaries. All the steps that you're taking towards your goals, it's like only tell people that you know are going to be there with you celebrating in the end. The whole world doesn't need to know and honestly you know like they say people do like to ruin good things and it's sad but it's better to just catch them off guard with the official announcement you don't want to set yourself up in any way shape or form for people to be all up in your business and really just messing up your focus on the way you don't need all that just stay focused and stay focused on you and stay focused on your goals